Hey guys, welcome back to Scrap Motor Garage and another installment on the EB Falcon. On this episode, we're we'll tackling the sunroof. I want to try and make one of these work out of the two. This is the new one, this is the old one. Pretty similar, have to swap a few things around, but the electronics are a bit different, so if I can't get that to work, then I'm going to have to take the old one out, put the new one in. I got this working the other day, so I know how it works now with all the wiring. Um, let's get to it. Alright, one of the main reasons I don't really feel like swapping it is because all of these screws that hold it in all the way along here, they're all rusted. And they are stuffed. On top of that. Uh oh. I guess I shouldn't have had that on the seal. She's leaked in. Carpet's dry, just this part of the seat. It's alright, get the bissel out. Look at my dirty handprints after I clean it. Idiot. Um, yeah. Mm, need some work. Yeah. Yeah, and the other reason is, yeah, they were rusted and. This one doesn't have the same mounting stuff. There's no screw holes. I think it's a little bit wider in total. Sunroof, I'm pretty sure, is exactly the same. So, and the switch is in a different location. It's on the dash on the EB. So I'm not exactly sure how it's even meant to mount. Obviously that's the roof. roof. That's, it's not just glued in, is it? No. Yeah, it's glue. Nah, might measure it and see if this metal, this metal lip here, isn't the same distance between the two. Um, that's where the screws are in that one. I'll do that now before I do anything. Um, so I measured it. This is, oh, I can't remember, but it was basically from there to the other lip. Uh, five mils longer than the one in the EB, but it's still enough room there to work. I'd have to drill holes and make it mount. But the other issue is that this glass is 900 long ways and the hole in the roof there is only 870. So this is not going to work and I'm not going to be cutting out that roof. So this is not going in the car. I'll have to find something else. In the meantime, see if we can get these to work. I've already got that one working. This works if you just hook up power directly to the motor, but all these internals won't let it work. So, not gonna do. I have to figure this out. Not the best day for it. Alright, here's where we're at. It's the old one. Zoom me out. That's better. Um, hooked up the... I got the battery hooked up. So, I've got it working. Obviously, these are two power sources. Not negatives. But they just reverses the current. And this is a negative. So I got them hooked up to the positive, and here's the negative, I'll just touch on there, spins, but, yeah, you can't even hear it, oh, hear a click. Alright, so anyway, you can't hear it because it only does it once, and it doesn't work. Yeah. It looks like crap, but it, the only reason it doesn't work is because of this. Uh, let's see if I can get you zoomed in. There we go. Alright, so this little bugger here, this is a shut off switch. And on here, on the gears, you got your little points. 
around. I think there's three, no, just the two. So obviously, therefore, when you're, um, you know, opening the sunroof, tilting it, um, and when it just opens, so they're the stopping points. So when that, those little prongs, so you got one there on the second ridge. annoying zooming here one on the second ridge there the real pointy one and then the one up there it's a bit flat so you got you can see here you got your two black and the white in the middle that white one is on the spring here so it's meant to bounce back so when it hits it shoots back and the problem is that it's all fucked. <laughs> That's the best I can put it. It doesn't spring back. This one here will, will touch and that way untouch. Should spring back with it, but it doesn't spring back. So you put it on and it doesn't work. See, so I can. She works. Well, then I'll push that in. shouldn't work now, but I bet it does. Yeah. So, it's real dicky. Yeah, because this moves as well when it shouldn't. Alright, look. I'll set it up. Hold on. Right, here we are. And I'll touch that. Turns it off. Release. So, yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. When those prongs hit there, that switches off the power and then it stops working. So I thought, you know what, whatever, can't do it. Hoping that the sunroof yeah, has stoppers at the end of the rails, so then it won't, you know, fly off. Um, put it all together, put it back together. Oh my god, get off. Um, yeah, put it back together. I bolted it into the roof of the car and it didn't work. Wouldn't work. Wouldn't work off the car power source. So, I don't know. <laughs> this, this is where I'm at. I don't know what to do. Um, it's annoying that that down there, the glass doesn't, isn't the same size, so that won't work either. And I'm getting over it. Um, all I can think to do at the moment is, because I don't know where to find glass, I've looked online, um, I'll have to call some local places, see if they don't um, make custom glass, I don't know. Uh, I might just go to the hardware and get some Perspex and cut out the shape and put it in for now, just so I can actually get it registered and drive it. This, this is a no-go. Even if I can get it to work, you know, okay-ish, put it in the roof and then get the roof lining done and then it fails and it has to come out and I don't really want that. And there's this other one here that isn't dodgy, that could possibly work. So they are different shapes, but the motors go that way, but the mounting points and yeah, those two holes and yeah, those two holes, they are the same distance and it's all the same. Um, then I'll just swap the gears because these are different size teeth. You can see it. Can't remember. One's like 13 and one's 18 teeth or something. Ah, so that's where I'm at. Electronics. Let's say I can get this to work, but in the car, all you got is these two power sources going to the top, the two positives, and this negative just well screws into the roof. All right. Ugh, excuse me. Boring. I have uh, to think about it and decide what to do. Because I'm stumped. I've tried, I just, I can't, I 
can't get this to work, which sucks, but it is what it is. So, am I going to cut the roof a little bit? I guess I am, because this works. Here, I'll show it to you. So basically, it's this, this simple with this one. These are all power sources, and then you got your negative, and the second negative, which I don't know what that's for. Yeah, this is it. Push the button. Look at that, it's opening. And... It's a bit slow because that battery's a bit flat. Stops itself. Let's go the other way. Whoop, lost the power. Cheeky bugger. Yeah. Oh. Oh, these suck. That's why. I knew I was going to cut that on there. No. <laughs> it's on there. Whoop, there we go. There we go. Now it's closing. This part is stops itself. It also opens the other way. Oop. So let's just really, you know, take a few steps backwards and take the sunroof out of that one. All right. So we've gotten all the ones of that along here, and this one, this one, and then we're up to that one. So far so good. They really look like crap, but they're coming out okay. Touch wood. And then I'm just going to drop it on my head. So yeah, that should be fun. Well, I took it out, and as you can see, they're not even close. Oh, I mean, the length doesn't matter, that'd be fine. Okay, obviously not from the same model, but the glass is the issue. And the hole in the roof. Um, I don't know where I put the tape measure, but I think from there to there is... Uh, like 460 and it's not the same okay 480 and this one is 470 Do I need? Where if the holes? Yeah, so I forgot I got this with the with the second hand kit. Yeah, that way. I mean, what do I have to do? Just anyway, that'll go around there. Yeah, so I've got everything I need. That's gonna make the hole bigger. I've come this far, might as well. And so you got this metal lift around here, you got your rivets, and that takes out all that. So who knows, maybe the hole's almost the right size if I take all that stuff out. If it's too big, it's gonna fucking suck. All right, guys, <laughs> not gonna lie, mistakes were made. Um, that's that metal frame. There was no other way to get that out. She was uh, sealed in, sealed the sealant. Tried my best, but yeah. Now it's got to get this bottom frame out. I think she's still glued in a bit. Just trying to fuck the roof up. See, it's really warped a little bit, but I think that was pre me. Because when they put the, this part in, it mounts it down. So I'll get that out and then start measuring a new hole. 
Right, here's where we're at. Sunroof, I've opened it, cardboard, <laughs> made a stencil. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. This corner I cut out too much, but I'll, um, when I get up there I'll just mark, go, go around, and then when I get to this edge I'll just you know, flip it around and it should be identical to that corner. Any corner really, so yeah, that's not a really problem, but should get the basic outline, then I can um, mount it, probably mount it up in the roof and then trim it up until it's good and put the seal in. Alright, so it's been playing in my mind. I've um, remeasured it from all the directions and I was measuring from this slip here. But I should be measuring from the glass loop because that would be the hole. This stuff all sits underneath and there's a rubber seal that runs inside that groove anyway. So from there to the same on this side is 90. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. Something 90. Yeah, 890 it was. And the hole is the exact same. So it is the same size glass. I was just measuring the wrong things. I was thinking about it all weekend. And like I did, because I would have cut out the roof for nothing. So right now I'm just cleaning up all the old seal. I'm going to put the Rubber seal there hanging off on with some new sealant. Then I'm going to come along here because obviously they've bent it when they're taking it out. I'll straighten up all these edges, everything, all the way along. And for the better part of me, all I can tell is this thing's just new, uh, glued in, some adhesive. There's no mounting points. So when I get some sicker flex or something stronger, if there is, and stick it in, I'll just have to clean up up in there, get all the old shit off, and no, you can't even see it. See, they didn't even have that much, but this is mounted. So I'll glue it. Hopefully, once I glue it, all the edges straighten up because it's a bit wonky. All right, let's keep at it. Well. As I'm cleaning it, I can feel a lift here. So it's had a respray at some point. It's a paint line. You can see it's a different colour. Well, the sun might have done that, but yeah. Cool. Alright, I've uh, yeah, gone along, taken it down to primer in some spots, but I'm hoping it won't matter because I'll uh, be sealing it. Um, still a little bit wonky over there, but. Once I glue it in, it should straighten itself out. Got all the, well, except for here, all the old crap off. I just went along and put the pliers and straighten up all the dents that I made, except for these ones. You can see them here, here, here. So now I have the screwdriver in. Yeah, sorry, here. A little bit too much angleage. Well, I'm gonna grab the seal and test fit it, see if it's the right size. Well, it fits. Perfect size. The only problem is it's shorter than the old seal, so all the paint <laughs> stuffed up. It'll be exposed. I'm gonna paint the roof anyway, so that's all good. Just had to tape it on because it kept falling off. Cool. It's coming together. Alright, car's all done. I've just moved onto the sunroof and I've been straightening up all the metal, just bending it as good as I can and scraping off all this glue. This is all going up to here. Real hard shit to get off. Uh, but I've only got, well, I'm halfway. I've got all that to go. Well, I'll keep at it and 
bring you back in when it's finished. All right, glue's off. Man, was it a pain. This wasn't too bad here, and where it's damaged, it was hard. The scraper couldn't get flat. But back here, man, did this shit have some contact power. <laughs> it just didn't want to come off. Before I put down the new stuff, I'll sand. Give us light sanding. Get any more imperfections off. I can feel a little bit. But yeah. And clean this out. Or just hang it upside down and shake it. But it should be good. Um, so I don't have any glue. All I've got is windscreen adhesive. Good to see you. So that won't do. Just, just calm down. Yeah. So I'm gonna head to the um, what do you call it? The place for sausages, Bunnings, and get the stuff I need. The other problem is, I'm not sure I'm gonna prop it in there because I'm a one man show. So uh, I was thinking, yeah, I've got a bunch of these timbers, could prop it around in here to hold it up and pinch it. I do have these old brackets. You can see that one over there. It's got to bend it back up to hold it to the roof. This one, and I think there's one there. Yeah, one there. This is four. Oh, there's even five, one back there. There's none on this side, though. Never was. But that one's actually. That won't reach it. That one over in that corner. Over. Over. There. Because the sunroof kit's actually a lot shorter than the other one. What did I say? Unbelievable. Alright. Well. Oh. She's full. Half full. Didn't even know. So it was empty. I'm going to head to the sausage store and get some sausages. Alright, I'm back from Bunnings. I got the. Sikaflex 221, it's a heavy duty adhesive sealant. Second strongest on their range, in their range at Bunnings. Um, I mean you can sand it and paint it, but I don't need to do that. So this should do just fine. Take 60 hours, 60 hours, 60 minutes, and it should hold itself up. And I think 24 hours and it is all, all good to go. So I'm gonna use that. You have to pay for your own nozzles, that's a joke. Um, got it all ready, cleaned up, vacuumed out all the edges because it's full of all the old sealant. Um, it's going to be the hardest part, I just don't know how to do this. Um, I do need to take off all the old, these drain pipes, they were just wrapped around. Actually it's all hooked up together, I'm going to undo all the blue tape. I'll just lay it out so I know exactly how the electricals run and everything. Um, looks like it just runs straight to the back motor there, to the switch. And the reason I'm taking them off is I've got the old ones here, they cut off on the back. Same with that side. But this car already has all four in here and they're all good. So I'm just gonna use these ones. Might blow them out, make sure they're clear. Alright, let's get all that off. <sighs> Tell you what, don't do this on your own. <laughs> that was an adventure. Um, yeah, well, it's in. Here it is. Just got the old boy holding it down. Um, it's very close. Like, uh, you can see, there's not much in it at all. And that side's actually under the roof. I'll go show you. But, sticker flex is already going off. It's already sticking. It's all flush, it's in there. This is how I pro propped it up. There, yeah, just that little bit too short, so I got a drill bit in there. And first I had them on the lip there, but then I realized, because 
because the angle of the wood it was actually hitting here into the roof and separating it so I had to readjust everything fell on me six times I mean clean my hands about four times now oh yeah cool it's down there too um yeah that one down there just it was just not I wasn't prepared is what I'm trying to say for how that was um yeah I'll take you around the other side yeah so this is the part I'm telling you about oh let me come from this way I to shake the car too much so you can see clears it here doesn't clear it here and clears it again down there so it's almost like the original cut sort of bows out comes out a little bit so I might just get the angle grinder after and just carefully just slide it down not how wonky my finger's gone but you know just just a little and it's gone um, besides that it's in there got the wiring hanging pretty simple everything as far as the green and black one there that little guy and this one I'm positive so should be a pretty simple install At least now, I don't have to worry about water getting in. I use a lot of Seeker Flex. I mean, it went everywhere. <sighs> Ooh, it's done. An actual sunroof in there again. And it's gonna work. Just dropped it down a bit to help cut it. And yeah, got the angle grinder. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I think it, yeah, from about here-ish. It's gonna take your meal off all the way to about here and see how it fits. Alright, trimmed it up a little bit on this side. Made a mistake. Just hit a bit here and she jumped. So, well, I'm gonna paint the whole car anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now, a little bit in the middle here. I did, and that side there, and it seals beautifully now. Now I just have to put the outside seal in, and it's oh, cut myself, and she should be good. Alrighty, guys, going to end the video here. Um, so I got up to sunroof is installed, and I did install the outer seal, silicon it all in, and everything. And then the sunroof wouldn't close because you can see that gap. It's so tight that it was just jamming on it. So I'm gonna off camera just shave that a bit more along here. And the other side as well. I think just up in here it was pinching. I think still where it was before. You can see the line. See it curves in. And that's from the factory. Well from when it was fitted before. So the lines weren't even straight then. This side was alright, well I think. I never got to that point. It would almost close all the way and then not lift up because it was jamming here as it lifted. <laughs> yeah. It was way blacker. That's cleaned. <laughs> alright, well, cool that a win. If you guys liked it, hit the like button, subscribe. Um, I'm getting heaps more views than I have subscribers, so. It doesn't hurt to, you know, just subscribe, get my numbers up, doesn't cost you anything. And down the track, the more I get, the more projects I can um, fund and bring you guys some entertainment. So if you're enjoying it, enjoying it, um, yeah, share it around, tell, tell some people, and... Uh, Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time here on Scrap Motor Garage. Peace.